Hey there. Sorry about uh, running a bit late. It was a little more disorganized than I was expecting to be. I apologize for that. Uh, that hurt. Jam my shin into the between the chair and the stool here. Okay, so starting point. There are one, two, three, a little over three and a half at eleven inches. Um, we'll say thirty-nine inches of braid so far is our starting point. All right, I can see the chat and everything. It's been a little while. Let's see if I remember this braid. Apologize, I was trying to get several things done at once. Hmm. That should be there. Must have gotten bumped around. Apparently, I'm still remembering enough of the structure of the braid. I'm not too far off. Huh. Said we had uh, three concurrent viewers when I started. I guess I was just waiting too long. I apologize. Okay. Also, want to give a big thanks to everybody who. Uh, subbed uh since uh friday night frenzy uh my currently at 740 subscribers which was a much bigger jump than i was expecting i was just trying to get past the uh youtube uh we want to crush your soul we'll take them away a little bit at a time uh unsubscribing people which is usually what happens with that okay so there's the pair there's the pair there's the pair so it's outside in, outside in, outside in, outside in, outside in, and outside in. Let's see, do the colors match up the way they're supposed to? Yes, yes they do. Apparently I may be a bit chattier than normal. Um, I went ahead and uh, I'm trying this slightly higher dosage today for the keep awake medicine, which is nice because I was actually able to finish the workday without getting sleepy by the end. But apparently I'm chatty a bit more. Okay, out in, out in, out in, out to in. Out in and out to in. And to the left and to the right. I was uh, trying to research a way that I could get the uh, sealant I need for the mini split that should be arriving by this weekend and the sealant isn't going to arrive till early next week and I would really like to uh, be able to okay I messed something up there let's see what I did okay So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. So, no. in. Let's just reverse this. That might have been what went wrong. 
Okay, so that looks right. Okay, so yeah, it looks like I pulled from the wrong pair. Okay. Getting a letter of some kind on my phone. It's probably telling me that the streams are running. Yeah, it looks like that's pretty much what it was. Okay, I'll set that over here so it doesn't distract me. Okay, let's try this again. Out to in, 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 and out to in. Okay, colors work for that. And left to right. And right to left. And always remember to pull that snug. Hey, we're back up to three again. Oh, four. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I did finally get to use the uh, CNC router last night, which is nice because it's been way too long since I've used it. Okay, up to in and up to in. To in and out to in. Colors match up the way they're supposed to. If you folks would like, uh, later on, before I stop, I will go ahead and uh, bring up what I did to show you guys because I'm rather pleased with how it turned out. To in, out to in, out to in, out to in, out to in, and out to in. Well, had a uh, I saw a post on Facebook by someone I know who uh, had posted a finger loop braid instruction for a braid and they wanted to uh, or they were a bit concerned that uh, um, people who wanted to do the braid might not be able to handle finger loop manipulation if they have issues and I pointed out that uh, the braid they want to do can be done on a Maro die or disc so I might be uh, if they request I might do a quick video on how to do it. Um, I'll probably braid the whole thing because, hey, braiding while I'm streaming is my thing these days. But uh, I also might do a little short video on how to do the steps because it's a fairly simple one. It's basically a cross, cross, cross. Uh, you work your way around alternating pair crosses. It's, uh, it's a simple, fun, quick braid. Um, I don't normally do it because I like more complex braid structures and yes i know i tend to uh, go into overly complex braid structures but it's fun for me i like doing it and i don't hurt anybody doing it so and then i just had tama unroll on me but at least it didn't hit the floor this time so let's roll that one back up Okay. I realized I'm not really in focus that well, so once I get this rolled up, I will uh, adjust the focus. I seem to be making it worse rather than better trying to uh, undo this. There we go. All right. As always, the Lark's had. Let's get this in focus first. There we go. Actually, let me uh, drop the brightness level a little bit. Getting a little too much reflection. Yeah, it might be a little too dark.
Okay, I think that's the best I can do. All right, so twist it around like this and grab the other side and loop up over and we have the lark's head knot. And that was a bit here. Okay, uh, Marmar, uh, thank you for the feedback on that. I've uh, got a fairly high resolution uh, feed through here. So when it's a little out of focus, it tends to annoy me. Um, but uh, I'm not sure how high what I'm seeing is relative to what's being streamed. It's supposed to stream at 1080p, but the camera's capable of uh, higher resolution than that. So I want to do the best streams I can to make things as easy to see for people as possible. So it's one of the things I kind of focus on. And uh, Marmar, I'm not sure if you've been on before. Uh, if you haven't, welcome to the stream. Appreciate you coming by. It's always good to see new people on here. I'm actually starting to hopefully get large enough of a channel that I won't be able to remember everybody all the time. Now, with any luck, the uh, braid for Emily D. Baker should arrive uh, at her P.O. box or mailing address or whatever it is um, tomorrow. I'm not sure when she'll actually get to it and open it. Uh, I did uh, put a note in so she'd know uh, what it was about. Okay, out to in, out to in, out to in. And out to end. And uh, I let her know the other people that I've done braids for that she knows. So just have a point of reference there. So it's not just some crazy out of the blue. Who is this person and why did they make this for me? Which is, can be nice, but also disconcerting. And out to end. And out to in, and out to in, out to in, out to in, and out to in. I'm also still waiting for Rob to give me the answers I need to be able to start his braid. And once I've got them, I should be able to get started in a day or two. Uh, I need to get like about six more binder clips uh, for my warping stand, but other than that, it's essentially ready to go. I need to uh, um, get uh, like a quarter inch long bolt and a couple of nuts, and then I can uh, wind the silk from the cone onto spools uh, and hopefully be able to do it uh, at a reliable rate. So I can load them up with just enough to uh, warp it up for the Tama without doing a lot of excessive slash wasted uh, thread parting off from the spools. Let's see. Okay, yep, those go over there. Um, and then I can uh, hopefully warp up his braid much faster than I've ever done before with the... Uh, working stand in the spools and then I can get started on that one and then that'll take probably about 40 to 50 hours to do it depending on how long he would like his braid to be anyway um, I did go ahead and email him um, since he's apparently not seen the discord uh, or questions I can also send him a message on Twitter if that's necessary, but I don't want to feel like I'm, you know, pounding him for answers, but I do need them before I can start. Well, technically I don't need them, but I want to have something that he wants, not something that I'm doing just to do. One of the things I uh, kind of have a mental need for is I want to make something that is appreciated uh, and uh, will be liked as opposed to just doing a project to do a project. 
I might do that if I'm, you know, learning a new pattern or learning a new skill. But uh, beyond that, I like to do stuff for people rather than just to, you know, do it to do it, if that makes sense. Okay, well, I'm glad, uh, sorry, um, I'm not looking at the chat all that often. I apologize if I'm slow, but uh, welcome, welcome. It's good to see you on, and thank you for chatting. I also do have to thank, I, I did thank the people who joined, but uh, hitting 740 is kind of making me feel like I can actually hit a thousand before too awfully long. I was looking on Social Blade. It's predicting I'll hit a uh, thousand subs somewhere around the three months from here, Mark. Uh, Took me a little bit longer than that to get enough uh, watch hours to qualify. But uh, with the help of your wonderful people, I seem to be accelerating growth. And out to in, 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 and out to in. And I messed something up there. Okay, white, two blue, or two black, two blue, and two yellow. That's right. Okay. So. Blue and white, black and yellow, black and yellow. Okay, so this. Let's move these back here and So those should be there, and these ones should come over to here. These ones over to here. Okay, so black, yellow, blue, white, yellow, black. Okay. That does look like it's sitting right. I hope I didn't mess that up. All right, time for side crossovers. Right to left and left to right. Okay. It's getting about time to drop some uh, Tama. All right. Okay. Out to in, 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 and out to in. Okay, those colors are still looking good. Oops, looks like we dropped down to two again. I guess we distracted some people. Thank you for the... Uh, Flowers, Gwen. Appreciate that. And right to left and left to right. Pull them snug. And out to in and out to in, out to in. Out to in, out to in, and out to in. And right to left, and 
left to right. All right, so I need to start dropping some Tama here. I'm getting a little too short to handle easily. Let's me know I'm getting kind of close to the end. So I'll probably go ahead and uh, I don't know if I'll do it as part of a stream or part of a community poll uh, for suggestions on the next braid to do. I'm thinking if I do it as a community um, tab thing, uh, I can go ahead and post pictures of the braids in question. It's raining a lot this evening here in uh, Eastern PA. Almost got rear-ended on the way home from work. Car in front of me was uh, stopping suddenly, so I put on my brakes. And the car behind me, who had been following me very, very closely, had to pull off to the side uh, to keep from rear-ending me, which I appreciate that they did. Uh, I was not trying to do anything to uh, make it difficult for them. It's just like, oh, they stopped suddenly in front of me. I need to stop. And apparently the other person was a little bit too close. I'm glad that nothing happened because I really do not want to be rear-ended or be in an accident of any kind. And uh, appreciate their quick thinking where they pulled off to the side rather than just breaking hard and rear-ending me. So that was nice. Okay. All right. So I already did the side ones there. And up to in, 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 and out to in. Been listening to some audiobooks that my wife recommended to me. Uh, Two Necromancers, A Bureaucrat, and An Elf, I think is the first book in the series. Um, it's the story of Timmy the Necromancer and his uh, apprentice and the things they do to try and get a pardon from being uh, a nec well, not so much from being a necromancer, but for the things that necromancers tend to do that are against the law because the kingdom they're in is expecting to be attacked in the future and would like to get some high-powered magical defense and is willing to uh, pardon the minor crimes involved to make sure that that can happen. It's told in, or it's written in a rather humorous way. I've been enjoying it. It's a nice, fun, easy listening read too. And up to in, 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 and out to in. And right to left, and left to right. This is much easier than it was on the slightly smaller Maradine mirror or disc. Hey, we're back up to three again, or four, depending on which uh, source I look at. Let's see who's on Rumble. I notice I've been getting some better numbers watching on Rumble, but nobody seems to want to chat over there. I don't know if that's just because it's annoying to chat on or... Okay, it says we got one person watching on Rumble. All right. And out to in, 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 and out to in. And right to left, and left to right. The way the uh, stories are written, I suspect that it is targeted at the young adult market, but I didn't really look to see for sure if that's what it's categorized as. And out to in, 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 and out to in. 
Let's even these up a little bit. So anyway, um, the air conditioner I mentioned, I'm getting a mini split for my garage, which as the weather tends to get warmer this summer will mean that I can actually work out in my garage rather than treating it as a uninsulated sweatshop. The, uh, um, the garage is a cinder block building with just a wood roof and no real insulation to speak of. So the uh, mini split I got is rated for about twice the square footage so I can, you know, be able to keep it cool and uh, not have the unit overwork. Though I do plan on, as I can afford it, getting more insulation so I can uh, build that up over time, make it a little more energy efficient, make the equipment work a little less hard. It also has a heat pump built into it, so I should be able to use it more in the winter as well because I've been using a propane space heater with a 100-pound propane tank. And in addition to not lasting very long, it probably is kicking out more carbon monoxide than I would like. Um, and I'd like to be able to keep like a low level of heat going on through the winter so that uh, it doesn't get cold enough to uh, essentially condense um, dew on all of the metal equipment and lead to uh, rusting of parts and tools, which is annoying when that happens. And some of the tools I have are moderately expensive. I'd really rather not their, have their lives be shortened to for usability. And up to in, up to in, up to in, up to in, out to in, and out to in. Okay, other than a couple of mistakes early on, I seem to be keeping up okay without getting too confused. I guess you could say I'm, I haven't forgotten the whole pattern. And hold tight. Yeah, I have no issue uh, reading young adult uh, fiction. Uh, this, a lot of the stories are really well written. Um, I'm only mentioning it as the fact that there's a, a slight difference in tone and word choice, which is entirely fine. Uh, and uh, for people who have uh, uh, young adults who like reading, it might be a good suggestion for them. And if they just like reading, it also is probably a good suggestion for them. Assuming they like humorous uh, fantasy worlds, um, vaguely medievaloid, but with things like uh, advanced law enforcement and banking going on. Speaking of banking, I do find it amusing that uh, Larry Korea's um, new epic fantasy series, or relatively new, it's been out for a while now, but it's not finished yet, uh, Son of the Black Sword, has fractional reserve banking in a uh, Indian-esque uh, world. But considering that uh, government and the law is essentially the uh, overwhelming force and religion is outlawed, um, kind of makes sense. And up to in, 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 and up to in. And right to left, and left to right. And up to in, up to in, and up to in, up to in, up to in, and out to in. And just to let you folks know, I'm probably going to stop streaming somewhere between uh, 8 and 8.30 my time zone, which should be in about half hour to, uh, say, probably 45, 50 minutes from now. Because I do not want to interfere with uh, Ian's Monday night stream. Not that I'm likely to interfere much, but I know I have a lot of people who like to watch me that also like to watch him. So I like to be nice to those people if I can. Though I realize eventually it's going to get to the point where... 
you just got to pick a time and stream and uh, how it tumbles out is how it tumbles out. But I also want to watch Ian stream live if I can. So I do have that incentive in this decision making process tonight. Though I am probably going to go to bed as early as I can since I've had more of the uh, stay awake medicine. I want to see if I can actually get to sleep at a reasonable time and get a reasonable amount of sleep, uh, which will let me know that I'm not taking too much. Because it doesn't really help if I stay awake, if I wind up being generally tired, more tired in the long run. So interestingly enough, I've actually found that uh, since I've been on this, I've been trying to get more sleep um, so that it doesn't have to fight so much to stick, keep me awake. Oh, it's not so much, you know, keeping me awake as it is. Uh, I'm not like run down tired as opposed to sleepy tired. It's, I need to drop some of these on this side now. Yep, I I know that a lot of the people who watch me found me either through uh, Ian, uh, Nick Ricada, um, Rob from Law and Lumber. I tend to watch their streams a lot too. I started watching uh, Nick when he uh, was covering the uh, Rittenhouse trial, and uh, I would catch his overnight shows on the morning replay. Uh, and uh, he's actually the one who kind of let me know that I could actually wind up doing this and might actually be semi-successful at it. Uh, he's the one who mentioned that the hardest part in uh, streaming on YouTube is getting your first 100 subscribers. And when he told me that, I actually had over 100 subscribers. But then again, I've had my account since, so like 2008, 2009, somewhere around there. Uh, but I wasn't really doing a lot with it, but just gradually over time, I was getting some more subscribers here and there. And uh, about that time, some of the uh, soldering videos I had done started to take off. And it's like, wow, if I've already done the hardest part and hadn't realized I'd done it, let's see how hard the rest of it is. So, but yeah, you let me know that one of the main things is you need to do like consistent, regular content. And you need to be yourself because if you try and like put on a persona or something like that, you just get too tired overall. And it's just so hard to maintain that. So I don't try and do that. I braid occasionally, you know, join other streams and chats, comment, get involved with the communities, have fun, do what I'm doing and just kind of be me. And right to left, and left to right. Let's get those a little better. Okay, and up to in, out to in, out to in, out to in, out to in, and out to in. But since I seem to have gotten over the mental block that was keeping me from working on the CNC router, I'm hoping I can get a lot of progress involved with that in the not too distant future. I want to get a few more Takadai's made, though I don't think I'll get them done in time for my uh, late July, early August annual working vacation. But uh, I can start working on next year's stock. And once I have a couple of them, I can go ahead and like open a web store and uh, ship them out to people who want them. Yeah, right to left and left to right. Pull it snug. Getting close to the time I need to raise the bag up. And out to in, 
out to in, out to in, out to in, out to in, and out to in. And right to left, and left to right. Looks like the side ones need to be uh, rolled down a little bit. Okay. Um, I think I've heard of Elvin Bain. I'll have to look that up again, see if I've read it or not. It sounds vaguely familiar, but I have read enough books that I don't always remember what I've read, which is actually kind of a nice thing because I get to read them again if I want to. I think when I was growing up in high school, I read the uh, Dragon Riders of Pern series probably about 10 times. And... Okay. There we go. Up to in, 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 and out to in. And I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, normal Tuesday night stream, probably about 7.30 p.m. Eastern time, or about a half hour after uh, this stream started. For those in other time zones. Pull that smudge there. All right, let's raise this up a little bit. All right, I don't see a mistake in the braid, so it looks like I did get it right when I tried to redo the color. Let's see how much we got. So we had one, two, three, and a half last time. So we're four, about a little, a little under four and a quarter times. So went from 39 to about 45 inches. Make a decent progress. And yep, um, Anne McCaffrey is a very was a very good writer. I enjoyed most of her work. Okay, and out to in, out to in, out to in. Out to in, out to in, and out to in. And I'm trying to get myself to where I'm uh, listening to more books again rather than uh, spending all my time listening to different um, Reddit uh, forum readers on YouTube. Uh, I tend to listen to uh, R slash red wheel yellow wheel or yellow cat sorry not yellow wheel um, slash start those ones um, just to kind of fill the time though I have gotten to the point where I've listened to so many of them I'd say probably about sixty percent of what I'm listening to are stories I've already heard so I'm probably gonna wind up cutting back on that relatively soon and and. Not in, not in, not to. Okay. All right, so. In, out to in, and out to in. Okay, I wound up getting that right without screwing it up. That's good. I was a little uncertain for a bit there. And left to right, and right to left. And the weird thing is, even though I'm awake, I'm having a hard time keeping my eyes open. I'm not sure if it's the uh, humidity or the heat or what's going on there. And... Okay, out to in, out to in, out to in, out to in, 
out to in and out to in. And whoops. There we go. Right to left and left to right. And out to in, 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 and out to in. Go. And right to left, and left to right. Thank you very much, uh, Marmar. Uh, let me go ahead and do a close-up for you so you can see the braid pattern a little better. Let's see. Got to change the focus a little bit if we're going up this high. There we go. And the other side, same structure. Got a nice uh, ridge along the side. It's rectangular, and it's... It's a fairly stiff braid. So. All right, let's get the focus back. There we go. Now we're about 43 minutes in. It looks like we've got two people on Rumble, three on YouTube. Let's see. I know my uh, watching numbers are down a little bit because I'm a bit earlier than my normal stream time. And with the uh, weather getting warmer in summer, a lot of people are doing outdoor activities. So the potential pool for people watching is a little smaller than it used to be over the winter. But it's nice to see that we get at least a few people in here every time we're streaming. which lets me know I'm not being too boring. Though I admit I do tend to do kind of like a stream of conscious chat, stream of consciousness chat, or stream of conscience, I don't know. This is Jiminy Cricket coming to you with your stream of conscious radio. You need to pick up that drop penny and, or sorry, drop $5 bill that uh, you don't know where it's from and put it in the donation tray. You need to help that person across the street. Yeah, I guess I'm getting a little slap happy. Honest, I'm not going to drive in anymore today. So. No worries there. I'm not even getting out of the house. I was considering running out and doing another uh, uh, V carve for um, the other sign I need to do. Uh, but now that I've got it started up and run once, the other program should be fairly simple. Won't be a big deal for me to do it. I just need to go out, turn the stuff on, put it down, make sure it's secure, set the zero, and I'll be off to the races. Yeah, out to in, out to in. Let those get untangled. Out to in and out to in. Um, in Japan, as I understand it, um, braids were used as like obi ties, um, sego wrappings, or sego, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, uh, for... Um, swords and the like. They were also used for armor lacing. Um, beyond that, I'm... Oh, and uh, there's at least one braid I know of... Oh, excuse me. Didn't mean to yawn. That um, was found in a uh, bag in a Shinto temple that uh, 
as part of a sutra, I think. Um, and I have actually done that braid on a Takadai, or at least that braid structure, not that braid. Um, and uh, I'm in the uh, SCA and use the braids there for things like belts, cords to tie things off, identifiers. Um, I have done the occasional one that's uh, tough enough to be used as a uh, car toe strap if necessary. So, and all right, so the colors match there. Let's get these. There we go. I also know some people that use different braids as trim. Some of them um, sew them together, uh, the flat ones on the edges to make kind of a fabric type thing. But uh, I mostly do this because I enjoy it and I like the way it looks when it comes out. The, uh, um, the silk pickup braids I've been doing, I think are mostly being used as belts, but I don't know for sure. And now oh, that remind or think I don't know if that reminds me directly, but just the way my brain jumps around, I should uh, check again on uh, Nick Rakeda's defamation court case. Uh, he's been waiting for a ruling from the judge as to whether or not his anti-slap slash motion for summary judgment has had a ruling. Uh, normally, they take about 30 days. And currently, we're running about uh, two months and a week uh, since the hearing. So could happen at any time. Okay. Out to in and out to in. Go. And right to left and left to right. Pull that snug. Hey, Laura, nice to meet you on. Um, thank you very much. Don't remember for sure whether or not you've uh, chatted before, but if not, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you on. And like I said, I'm getting a little slap happy, meaning I'm tired and uh, my uh, self-sensor is starting to go. I can't keep up with this. I need to take a Smoke out back. You can deal with it yourself. But, yeah, right to left. And left to right. And out to in. Out to in. Out to in. Out to in, out to in, and out to in. And I will, in, next time around, do a quick um, explanation of what my mnemonic is actually describing for this particular braid for anybody else who wants to do it. Okay, so we have a pair here, pair here, a pair here. I know the colors don't match, but the uh, facing edges colors do. And same for this side here. So starting with the side facing me, this being the cross pieces, the outermost of this from the center line of this pair, the outside is going to the inside from the center line of this pair. So it's over here. Now we have one extra that side is the outside here, and we'll go to the inside of what was that pair there, making it a pair again. So take the next pair, outside meaning closest to this cross direction, 
out to in for this pair here. And I take the inside of that pair, or the outside of that pair, sorry, and it goes to the inside of what was that pair there, making a new one. And outside of this pair, into the inside of that one, and then the outside of that pair to the inside here. And then I should have my color matching pairs. So odd one out, yellow inside to the yellow outside, which is white inside, the white outside, the black inside. And then I take the two outermost of the cross pieces on the right side, move it to the center of the left side, take the two outermost pieces on the left side, move it center to the right side, and then I pull the center pair on each side together to uh, even the tension up, keep it nice and snug as a braid, and allows me to do a consistent tension pattern so that it, this stuff remains the same size. And then I repeat again, out to in, 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 and out to in. And one of the ways my uh, I'm able to check as I'm going along that I'm not making a mistake as I'm doing it is that uh, when I take the outer pair, move it to the in, it's in the middle of a matched pair of colors or matched colors. And the if I go one over the next one in the center to the one after that, the color will match with what I've got here. So out to in and out here to in in the middle of a color pair, and same as the next one over, past the pair in, and out to in, again between the matched colors, and one extra in is the same color, and out to in. So between the two sets of black, the next one in is blue, and out to in, and out to in. Oops. Okay. Here. Ah, out. This is the one that needs to go. Color wise, there we go. And left to right, or uh, right to left, and left to right. So that's a rendition of the pattern. Well, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you uh, joining and uh, stopping in. Feel free to ask any questions you want about braiding kumihimo in general, or just anything about me or whatever strikes your fancy. If I can't answer it, I can't answer it. But I'll do my best. And out to in, 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 and out to in. Even up those pairs a little bit. And right to left, and left to right. chunk of plastic stuck in my shirt because as I'm moving my arm, I feel something scraping on it. And I work in a plastic supply factory, so, or plastic machine shop, however you want to put it. We do things, machining different plastics, usually like PVC, acrylic, uh, polycarbonate slash Lexan, um, some more exotic plastics, and, uh, we use CNC mills, CNC routers, um, lays, saws, and whatnot. It's a fun place to work. 
unlike my previous place of employment, I enjoy it quite a bit. I feel like I'm respected. I'm learning new things. I feel like I'm being a valuable and contributing member of the team. And it's really nice there. So it's a little bit further away than my previous job was in a different direction. But all in all, I like it there. But you occasionally, I occasionally get home and find that I've got little bits of plastic wedged into my clothes, in my pockets and whatnot. At least it's better than the previous place where I was working machining uh, metal. Uh, unless you happen to hit the right bit of sharp plastic, it's hard to get cut on like the little teeny bits. It's usually a big piece where there's enough mass behind it that it can like scrape or cut and whatnot. But a little teeny piece with not a lot of weight behind it is uh, usually not a cutting hazard. So but some of the more brittle, sharper uh, plastics like uh, nylon um, can occasionally do that without too much uh, encouragement. And like Lexan and, poly, uh, Lexan and acrylic. PVC is a very fairly soft um, plastic. And then plastics like uh, polypropylene and UHMW, actually more like a high density polyethylene, uh, tend to be feel like softer plastics and I don't scrape myself on them as much. Okay, it's been just about an hour. I'm a little more tired than I was expecting, so let's uh, move the weight up and see how much I actually made. I think it's probably going to be about 46 inches total, so about 7 inches from when we started, which for an hour is not bad at all. So one, two, three, four and a half. So about 48 inches, so almost about 9 inches we made in an hour. That's not too bad at all. At least I think that's what it is. So... I'm really pleased with how this braid's turning out. Probably have maybe about five hours until, in, until this braid will be done, somewhere between five and 10 hours. So anybody have any questions or anything before I head out? Um, probably see you folks in uh, Ian's chat later on tonight, though I probably won't stay on too long. Let's see, nothing on Rumble. Back down to one person watching there. Alrighty, so everybody have a good night, and again, I will have a stream tomorrow night, probably again this particular Maradai braid, and uh, I'll see you then. Till then, everybody stay safe, and happy braiding. <laughs>